you know, Pokemon Go is taking over the world. Uh, let's take a look at how. Yeah. Um, first things first, the money money side of things. This is, at this point, out of date. This is from uh, July. This is from three days ago. I'm sure the money is much different, but Pokemon's Go success adds $7.5 billion to Nintendo's market value. I love that we're frequently like, oh, Nintendo's probably, they're probably not going to pull out of this after the Wii U. It's real bad. And then they do something like this, and we all feel stupid. I like that we have a very smoked out Action Bronson in the corner of our yeah. show. That's nice. Well, that's a, I, I wish that was in every episode. <laughs> uh, and then, of course, uh, in terms of, you know, comparing it to social media, Pokemon Go is a about to surpass Twitter in daily active users on Android. It's insane. That's pretty crazy. Uh, I mean, that's what it is. Uh, moving on. This one I thought was hilarious. Spotify announces that the Pokemon theme song <laughs> plays are up 382%. <laughs> so people are, they really want to be the very best, and uh, I guess they've got a soundtrack to do that. I like um, they're just walking around listening to that on a loop trying to catch Zubats. <laughs> yeah. Uh, then, of course, uh, it's not all good. This one is really fascinating. Uh, you've kind of criticized the fact that this is a game that encourages people to walk around with their phones yeah. out like this, like almost like you're holding up an offering to criminals. Well, we live in a city that's full of phone snatchers and, sure. and stuff like that. So. Uh, this is also out of date. This is also from three days ago. But uh, robbers target players of popular Pokemon Go smartphone game in O'Fallon, Missouri, I think. So they were, I guess, probably putting out lures for actual actual crooks. Yeah. Uh, on the flip side, uh, I know that businesses had been doing this. Like they were, they were using uh, lures at the nearest kind of Pokemon stop to them. Uh, my my fiance and one of her friends were, they decided they were gonna, you know, go get a, a boba tea and they stopped by one of those little quickly, little mini mart things. Mm -hmm. And they had a sign out front that said, Pikachu spotted here. And they were like, yeah, right, whatever. And they go inside, they're like, oh my God, Pikachu's here. And they wound up sitting there for two and a half hours just catching Pokemon because this company was funding the luring of Pokemon to this physical establishment. So that's like, it's good for small businesses all of a sudden. I mean, too. that's, that's really like interesting. the evolved form of when companies are like, hey, we've got free Wi-Fi, you just gotta buy a coffee, yep. you know. Uh, so moving on, uh, this one is exceptionally strange. Uh, a Wyoming teen was playing Pokemon, looking for Pokemon, and then mm -hmm. found a dead body floating face down in a river. Yeah, which is ironic, because I pointed this out on Twitter a few days yep. ago. Uh, the original Pokemon, there it is, yep. uh, starts with a reference to Stand By Me, which is a movie about four kids finding a body. Uh, yeah. It's actually on TV, uh, downstairs in your house when you start the game. So uh, life imitates art, or art imitates life, you know, actually, or everything's if you look closely, full circle. It kind of looks like those kids are on their phones looking for Pokemon, <laughs> and they're totally oblivious to the fact that they are on train tracks. Yep, nailed it. All right. Uh, then there's this one. <laughs> um, Pokemon Go hasn't rolled out uh, worldwide yet, but I guess some people are, you know, who have who travel or whatever, are figuring it out. There is, in fact, a Pokemon Go gym in. The DMZ between North and South Korea. I thought that said uh, DMX. I'm like the rapper. <laughs> I, if you if you went to hang out in North Korea, it wouldn't surprise me. It would just, <laughs> the weirder people have shown up there. Uh, but yeah, that's probably not a good one to go nope. investigate. That could go horribly wrong. Uh, so again, be aware of your surroundings. Uh, and then it's not all it's not all bad stuff. Question mark. Yeah. Uh, Kotaku reported that Pokemon Go nudes are a thing now. Uh, Is that dude naked right there? That's a diglet. Uh, so a lot of people are sending dig pics. We can't show them here, but you can use your imagination. What could you cover that little? What could you cover up with that little Pokemon? Your own little reality. Diglet. Yeah, augment your reality. Uh, yeah, <laughs> cloisters for the ladies. Uh, uh, and then of course, uh, Pornhub. Yeah. Uh, or you porn? Uh, sorry, Katie used to work for Pornhub. Why do I know that? Uh, tweeted out that uh, yeah, Pokemon Go is currently more popular than porn. So. Also worth noting, just in the in the interest of, of good statistics, I don't know how many people just search straight up porn. You know, that's a Google Analytics page. I think some people are more like specific. They're like, you know, that's a, that's a literally the first the first thing you look up when you look up porn. When Jenna you're like Hayes' 10. feet, you know, you either go to like sex.com or porn.com. Yeah. you're just like I hope, or you go to what? boobs.com. Yeah. You're like, yes, it worked. I don't know if that works. Yeah, but anyway, that's uh, you know, that's a, a, a interesting. There was also below this, she put up a, a poll that was like, what are you doing tonight? Uh, you porn or Pokemon Go? And it was like. It was like 60% more people were like saying Pokemon, Pokemon Go, Go feels like the first half hour of Charlie and the Chocolate Factory where the entire world yes. is going insane. Yep. Um, and also five kids might die. Yeah. So on that note, uh, I do want to say I, I'm, I think it's a really positive thing. I think it's easy to report on the negative side of stuff, yeah. but this feels like this kind of weird fusion of social media and like camaraderie and it's honestly unlike something anything we've seen before and we've, you know we get a lot of really awful news on a regular basis but uh, bro with the fro on reddit posted this image which I think is just one of the most heartwarming things I've seen on the internet in a while these are a bunch of people of all ages and ethnicities and presumably orientations who are just hanging out playing Pokemon trying to catch these fake-ass animals and 
I don't know. That's awesome. Yeah, this is that's, how, that's how you sell a college textbook, by the way. You put that. That's, yeah, this that's looks this looks like a stock photo that used in like a training seminar. Like, yep. 